Assalamualaikum. Hoping that everyone are mighty fine. Today we are going to learn how to do regular inspection on local exhaust ventilation or LEV. What we're going to do today is visual inspection and also checking out the LEV performance in terms of the air flow. But first, let me show you what we have here in our joining technology workshop in FTKMP UTEM. In our joining technology workshop, we have 16 bays of sheet metal arc welding All machines here are from Kempai. We have five bays for tungsten inert gas welding or TIG, and we got five bays for metal inert gas welding MIG, including the flux cord. This workshop is located at Factory 2 Technology Campus. You tam. Okay, let's get down to the brass tacks. First, let's take a look on what aspect we need to look at during visual inspection of the LEV system. Here you are seeing a complete LEV system minus the fan at the outside of the building. At the hood area, we need to check whether there are any blocking that may block the movement of the air into the LEV. Then at the branch, ducts, and at the bands, we need to check whether there are any dents, corrosions, abrasions, wear and tear, accumulation of dust that may interrupt the systems, and also any abnormal noise that may indicate loose joints between the bands or maybe irregular operation of the fan. This inspection must be performed at least in every 12 months for a welding workshop under normal usage. Any damage identified must be reported in written in the inspection report. Now we are going to learn how to measure the volumetric flow rate of the air that got pulled into the LEV or what we call as the airflow. The airflow is the amount of the air that goes into the LEV in a minute. It denotes by the letter Q and the unit is cubic meter per minute. Now, to get the airflow, we must measure first how fast is the air that goes through the hood, which is the velocity, and we multiply it with the area of the hood face or the opening of the hood. To simplify it, we can write it as Q equal to V times A. Getting the area of the hood's opening is rather easy. We can just use any measurement instrument like the ruler. Since this hood is round shape, get the diameter or the radius of the hood's opening and record the measurement. In this case, the diameter that I got is 180 mm or 0.1 meter. Now, we got the area of the hood's opening. Now, we're going to get the velocity of the air into the hood. To measure the velocity of the air into the hood, we're going to use a special equipment called anemometer. Anemometer has two parts, which is the body of the machine that take and display the measurement and to select the desirable settings and this is the probe which has a small fan and a metal casing it is a precision equipment whenever there is air pass through this probe the fan will rotate according to the velocity of the air what you need to be very careful when handling this equipment is that you should avoid from touching or poking the fan or else you're going to damage the ball bearing. 
To operate an anemometer, first power it up by pressing the power button. Then the display will show some numbers, normally just zero because it is a startup. For your information, this machine can also measure the general airflow. To change between the function, just press the VEL slash flow button and please note it, the indicator at the top left of the display that shows VEL that stands for velocity and FLOW that stands for airflow. At bottom right of the display, we can check the unit of the measurement and to interchange the unit, simply press the unit slash down arrow button. We can select from meter per second, miles per hour, feet per minute, and knot. We're going to use SI unit to measure the velocity of the air, thus select meter per second. The probe is kind of a remote from the main body for the ease of measurement. There is a cable connection between these two parts. Just connect the cable from the probe to the input terminal at the body. Now I'm going to show you how to practically use this instrument to measure the air velocity that goes into the LEV. When we got our anemometer powered up and the setting alright, simply hover the probe at the opening of the hood right there, just at the center. The LEV fan is not powered up yet, so you so there aren't really any air movement into the hood. When I switch on the LEV fan outside, you're gonna see the probe's fan start to spin. Let me go and switch on the LEV fan. Now that the LEV fan is on, we hover our probe at the opening there, right there. The fan is spinning because LEV starts to pull the air inside. You can see the spin is very fast. The display will show you the reading of the velocity. Let the value increase until it's stable and at the same time, make sure the probe is still at position. When the value is stable and we can lock the value by pressing hold button so that we can put down our probe without affecting the reading. Here, see the See that my measurement of the air velocity is 11.59 meter per second. Now that was all about using the anemometer. Let's get back into the office and do some calculation. Remember that we got this equation where to get the airflow, we must have the air velocity multiplied with the hood's face area. The measurement of our air velocity by the anemometer is 11.59 meter per second. We multiply it with 60 seconds to convert it to meter per minute and we got 695.4 meter per minute. Then for the hood space area, when I measure the hood space, I got diameter of 0.18 meter using the equation of area equal to pi d square over 4 we got the area equivalent to 0.025 meter square. Thus, with all the value of the air velocity and the area that we had calculated, finally we got our airflow of the air that pulled into the LEV equivalent to 17.4 cubic meter per minute. Now that is how much air that goes into the LEV aka the performance of the LEV itself. Now that we got the airflow, we can compare it to the airflow requirement from the AWS handbook. Our LEV airflow is 17.4 cubic meter per minute. Thus the suitable distance from the hood to the well area is between 250 to 300 
millimeter or about one feet.